All right, I'm back uh, with the next part of Sophia's last day. Um, right now I'm looking at the kiosk. used to be in a different location, but uh, the kiosk was uh, meant to be a sort of an advertising space. Uh, you can see a talk advertised here uh, from uh, a year and a half ago. Uh, Melissa Carrillo from the Smithsonian came and did a talk about New Frontiers in Online Learning. Um, there's our statue, which I'll show you up a little up close in a minute. Um, one of the highlights was a talk by um, Sarah Robbins, uh, uh, aka IntelliGirl, who came and did a wonderful chat. Unfortunately, it was very, very poorly attended. Um, people just have lots of things going on in their lives. So here's our statue. Right now you're hearing uh, an owl, which is sitting on top of the statue. I'm just going to come around so you can see it a little better here. Perhaps the fly up. So this yeah, you can't fly through the owl. But there's the owl sitting on top of the uh, on top of the sculpture. All right now I'm going to uh, take you to probably the most complex thing that we created, which is this library skills uh, maze. And I'll, I'll actually go through a little demo of it. Um, so it op offers you something called a hub, a HUD, excuse me. I'm going to keep that HUD, and um, but I'm not going to wear it. I'm just going to explain to you what happens. So I'm going to enter the maze. And up here where you see it says your score, that's what the, the HUD would look like. And right now it's being it's asking me a question, right? Touch the book that's out of order. Right. And in fact there's two out of order here, depends on how you think of it. <laughs> But I'm going to press one of them so you see the result. And it says that's correct. And that would give me points as I move along here. And I have a choice now to do a bonus question or to move on. So I'm going to move on. And a door opens and I go through. So the door and the bonus points would, uh, so all of this would start to, um, would start to uh, get me points. I would go through, I'd see these um, more questions, I would get more points, and in the end, the, the, uh, the idea was that students would, would gather points and they'd be able to buy a gift uh, for themselves, a free object in a little store at the end of the May. So depending on how many points they earned, they would um, get a um, better prize. So this was really quite complex to create. The idea with all of our projects in Second Life was to create a proof of concept. So I'm going to pick something, right, and go through. Right. We've actually got some bugs in here. Well, at any rate, uh, over time these things have uh, been allowed to uh, not improve, and <laughs> again, it was the idea was as to be a proof of concept. <laughs> 